Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this class, I am going to uh, teach you uh, group, uh, definition of a group, abelian group, order of the group, and examples of a groups. So let us start the class. So here you see definition of a group. A non-empty set G of elements it is said to be a group with respect to the binary operation multiplication if it is satisfied the following axioms. The first one is the closure axiom. For all a b belongs to G, implies a into b belongs to G. That means if we choose any two elements from G, their multiplication must be inside G. Then let us proceed for associative axiom. For all a, b, c belongs to G, a multiplied with c, there are b, then the result of a, b multiplied with c should be equal to a multiplied with the result b, c. That means first of all we have to multiply b, c, then we have to multiply a. Existence of a identity. There exists an element e belongs to G such that a into E is equal to E into A is equal to A for all A belongs to G. Here E is called the identity element of G and A is other than the identity element that belongs to G. So here E is called the identity element of a G. Then existence of inverse for all A belongs to G. There exists an element A to G power minus 1 belongs to G called inverse of A so that A into A inverse is equal to A inverse into A is equal to E. This is called identity element. With these four conditions or properties, we can say a non-empty set G is a group. Now let us proceed for a billion group. A group G is said to be a if it is satisfied the that is A into B is equal to B into A for all A B belongs to B. So, a group G, that means we are taking group means it will satisfy the four conditions. Together with that, if it will satisfy one more axiom that is called commutative axiom means a into b is equal to b into a for all a b belongs to j then we can say the group is an a abelian group next order of g group the number of elements, the number of elements present in a group is called order of the group. It is denoted by O's 
So, order of an A, order of A group means the number of elements present in the group that is called order of the group. Then, finite group. Finite group. A group G is said to be finite if it contains finite number of elements. So, a group G is said to be finite if it contains finite number of elements, otherwise it is called infinite group. Now examples of groups. Example one. Let G is equal to curly bracketed one minus. Then G is a group with respect to what? So if we take g is equal to r minus 1, then g is a group with respect to multiplication. Example 2. Let g is equal to 1 omega omega square. Where omega is the Cube root of a unit. Then G is a group with respect to So, with this, let us come to the end of the to that topic. In the coming class, I will solve problems on groups. Till then, thank you.